Greetings from Sitakus. I'm Jordi from the image department. Today we are going to present you the new incubator disruptive PSI 56. In this video tutorial we are going to show you how it works and how to program it step by step. For this we have the collaboration of Yolanda from the Zootechnics department. If you like the idea, follow me. We have four different models of this incubator. Two models of dry incubators, the 110 volts and the 220 volts, and two models of wet incubators, the 110 volts and the 220 volts. All of them are programmed in the same way. If you want to know the differences between wet and dry models, don't miss our next video, Performance of Disruptive PSI 56 Incubators. The dimensions of these incubators are 23.23 inches or 59 cm wide, 30.78 inches or 35 cm deep, and 15.75 inches or 40 cm high. And it weighs a total of 41.89 pounds or 19 kilos. Part of the shell is easily removable to allow access to the interior of the machine, as well as the replacement and the repair of its components. The incubator has four ventilation openings, two fixed openings at the back, which must always remain free, and two adjustable openings at the front. Its door is a large, easy to open panoramic window made of methacrylate, and it has an LED interior light with automatic self switching off. Inside is the rod drive frame with removable rods. This frame allows two aspects of the positioning of the roots to be adjusted width and height. Switch on the incubator by pressing the on-off button. The button will remain illuminated with a green light while the incubator is on. Access the general programming menu by pressing the selection button simultaneously for 3 seconds. Scroll through the general programming menu and locate the parameter to be modified using the selection buttons. Access the desired parameter by pressing the set button. Modify the corresponding value using the selection buttons. Save the asynced value by pressing the set button. To activate or deactivate the functions of cool, churn and cake airflow, remember that independently of programming the desired values in the general programming menu, you will have to press the corresponding button. If the green indicator light is off, it indicates that the function is deactivated. If the green indicator light is on continuously, it indicates that the function is activated but is not currently in operation. If the green indicator light flashes intermittently, it indicates that the function is activated and it's currently in operation. Access the general programming menu by pressing the two selection buttons for three seconds. Access the temperature parameter by pressing the set button. Customize the temperature value using the selection buttons. Save the value by pressing the set button. The temperature at which the incubator is set is shown on the lower left screen. If you wish to consult the program temperature, press the set button for 3 seconds. If the green indicator light in the lower left display is on, it indicates that the incubator is in the process of warming up. 
If the light flashes or goes out, it indicates that the machine has reached the set temperature. Access the general programming menu by pressing the two selection buttons for three seconds. Scroll through the programming menu until you find the humidity parameter. Access the humidity parameter by pressing the set button. Customize the humidity value using the selection buttons. Save the value by pressing the set button. The humidity at which the incubator is set is shown in the lower right display. If you wish to consult the programmed humidity, press the set button for 3 seconds. If the green indicator light in the lower right display is on, it indicates that the incubator is below the programmed humidity. In case you have a wet incubator model together with the humidifier kit, it will be activated to raise the humidity of the incubator. If the light flashes or goes out, it indicates that the machine has reached the set humidity. Access the general programming menu by pressing the two selection buttons for three seconds. Scroll through the programming menu until you find the high airflow parameter. Access the high airflow parameter by pressing the set button. Customize the high airflow value using the selection button. Save the value by pressing the set button. Press the high airflow button for 2 seconds to activate the function. The green light indicates that it is activated. Press the high airflow button again for 2 seconds to deactivate the function. The green light will turn off. Access the general programming menu by pressing the two selection buttons for 3 seconds. Scroll through the programming menu until you find the aleatory turning active parameter. Access the aleatory turning active parameter by pressing the set button. Select aleatory turning active no or aleatory turning active yes by using the selection buttons. Save the value by pressing the set button. You select Aleatory Turning Active No, you will be able to access the programming of the turning interval. Access the general programming menu by pressing the two selection buttons for 3 seconds. Scroll through the programming menu until you find the parameter Turning Interval Every. Access the Turning Interval Every parameter by pressing the set button. Customize the turning interval every value using the selection buttons. Save the value by pressing the set button. If you select aleatory turning active yes, you will be able to access the programming of the minimum and maximum turning intervals and the minimum and maximum egg turning angles. Access the general programming menu by pressing the two selection buttons for 3 seconds. Scroll through the programming menu until you find the turning interval maximum parameter. Access the turning interval maximum parameter by pressing the set button. Customize the value of turning interval maximum using the selection buttons. Save the value by pressing the set button. Access the general programming menu by pressing the two selection buttons for 3 seconds. Scroll through the programming menu until you find the turning interval minimum parameter. Access the turning interval minimum parameter by pressing the set button. Customize the value of the turning interval minimum using the selection button. Save the value by pressing the set button. 
Scroll through the programming menu until you find the turning angle maximum parameter. Access the turning angle maximum parameter by pressing the set button. Customize the turning angle maximum value using the selection buttons. Save the value by pressing the set button. Scroll through the programming menu until you find the turning angle minimum parameter. Access the turning angle minimum parameter by pressing the set button. Customize the turning angle minimum value using the selection buttons. Save the value by pressing the set button. Press the turn button for 2 seconds to activate the function. The green light indicates that it is activated. Press the turn button again for 2 seconds to deactivate the function. The green light will turn off. Access the general programming menu by pressing the two selection buttons for 3 seconds. Scroll through the programming menu until you find the calling interval every parameter. Access the cooling interval every parameter by pressing the set button. Customize the cooling interval every value using the selection buttons. Save the value by pressing the set button. Access the general programming menu by pressing the two selection buttons for 3 seconds. Scroll through the programming menu until you find the cooling interval the set parameter. Access the cooling interval the set parameter by pressing the set button. Customize the cooling interval the set value using the selection button. Save the value by pressing the set button. Access the general programming menu by pressing the two selection buttons for 3 seconds. Customize the cooling interval duration value using the selection buttons. Access the cooling interval duration parameter by pressing the set button. Customize the cooling interval duration value using the selection buttons. Save the value by pressing the set button. Press the cool button for 2 seconds to activate the function. The green light indicates that it is activated. Press the cool button again for 2 seconds to deactivate the function. The green light will turn off. Access the general programming menu by pressing the two selection buttons for 3 seconds. Scroll through the programming menu until you find the reset counter parameter. Access the reset counter parameter by pressing the set button. Select Yes using the selection buttons to reset the turn counters. Press the set button to accept. Access the general programming menu by pressing the two selection buttons for 3 seconds. Scroll through the programming menu until you find the language parameter. Access the language parameter by pressing the set button. Select the language using the selection buttons. Press the set button to accept. Access the general programming menu by pressing the two selection buttons for 3 seconds. Scroll through the programming menu until you find the light and audio parameter. Access the light and audio parameter by pressing the set button. Select yes or no using the selection button. Press the set button to accept. 
If you have any questions about how it works or how to program the incubator, you will find our contact details in the video description. We hope this video tutorial has been useful for you. If you haven't done it yet, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell to keep up to date with all our news. And if you like it, thumbs up and share it.